I'm just going to record from down here. Hello there, storytellers, and welcome to a delightful video. Welcome to me doing whatever I want. This is the content you asked for. Literally, there was a poll and, and you asked for this. You know, the world decides what I do, not me. So if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the Storyteller Squad, part of the delightful family online. And, uh, you know, welcome to me answering questions while folding my laundry. That's really it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I needed to fold my laundry. I needed to stop procrastinating, but I also didn't want to fold my laundry and stop procrastinating. So this is a, a workaround for me. And I figured I'd just answer questions that you guys have. Uh, there's also maybe, I think, some assumptions in there. It's, it's a hodgepodge. I did a lot of different places, so we go and do it. And if you're wondering, am I really gonna be folding my laundry? Yes, I have an entire basket of things that I haven't put away and there's a nice pile growing. So to start us off with the first question, I'm gonna go to Instagram. Okay, would you rather live in the Pokemon universe, Harry Potter universe, or the Marvel universe? Um, and this was asked by Anthony Alexander, who you should go check out on YouTube. He is a, also a small YouTuber who is awesome and delightful. My answer is going to be Harry Potter universe because I want the ability to have like spells and just do all the tours that I don't want to do. Also because I want to apparate because I don't like driving or traveling. So that was our first question. By the way, I am very particular about the way that I fold things. I spent two summers working as laundry staff for a camp and uh, you know, there was no rules there of folding, but I just sort of became my own and decided I'm going to fold how I want to fold. And I even tell my, like, I tell my boyfriend and my mom, don't fold my stuff because I'm going to unfold it and fold it properly. Anyway, let me fold this towel. This is a towel, by the way, is from uh, my eighth grade graduation and I still have it. I started using uh, Telon, Telonim, Telonim. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I started using it and I started it about two hours from when this is filming and I've gotten a good amount of stuff already. So I might just use that in the future. So if you want to find me on there, here is my username. For asking questions, AMAs, which dessert do you like the most? It's very difficult. So I have a recipe, there's a family recipe, and it's walnut meringue pie. And I am sworn to death to never give out the recipe to anyone that's not approved by the family to tell. Um, and if I'm trying to decide if that like is my favorite dessert, I think it has to be probably tiramisu because I don't get it often. And when I do, it's kind of like one of those special things that you just like have. Also, we're trying out the boom mic that I've had since Christmas and I've rarely used it. Uh, or not, is it this Christmas? I think it was this Christmas, but I feel like I want to use it more. I also know like it technically is better quality. I just have to figure out how to do it because it's very finicky with the volume. So we'll see how this video goes. If the audio quality sucks, then I apologize <laughs> and we'll figure it out. Oh God, I got to fold this. Now. What was for you the most useless thing you have learned in school? Um, I'm going to do probably high school because in college, like college was complicated. And in the end I did, I, I feel like I learned more in college than I did in high school. Probably like the, the sciences. So like environmental science and maybe even, I think bio, I took, I took biology as well. Uh, any really, any sciences, because as much as like, there's like fun facts that like, I still remember from, uh, school and science in particular, like they're, they're facts that you can learn otherwise. Like you can learn them in college. You can learn them as you go. Someone who, who truly has interest in science can tell you those things. So honestly, I don't see how <laughs> me as a content creator, me as a digital marketer, 
really learning science has helped me, especially because the industry that I'm in for digital marketing is, is finance. So essentially, I, like there's nothing looking back that I remember learning. So clearly it was useless information to me, which I could go and rant about the American education system, but I'm not going to. What else we got? What's been your favorite series as a child? Oh man, there's so many. Um, I think if I have to pick my, like, I'm going to pick top two would be probably rocket power and then probably Kim Possible. That was always the ones that I would like always want to watch and like still want to watch today. Um, any besties? I have a lot actually. You know, for someone who was an only child and had like a rough upbringing and like is pretty anxious and antisocial, I have quite a few best friends. Um, I have my like core group, Abeko Bento, and then I have like my online best friends who, who are in the same category because some of them I haven't met on like in person ever, but like they're my best friends because they're always like, they're there for me when I need them. I'm always there for them when they need me. Like we send each other stuff. Like, like friendship relationships are not very like traditional anymore because of the internet. Um, and I feel like lately with YouTube in particular and like social media, like I'm, I'm getting more new online friends that could become best friends because we're bonding, we're talking, we're doing things together. You know, you feel? And honestly, I will talk to anyone online, which is why like I, I always push people to answer questions on like Instagram or like send me questions or send me assumptions, send me messages, just send me anything. I will pretty much respond to it when I get, if I can. Obviously if it's something negative or bad, I'm not gonna fucking answer it. But <laughs> regardless, say a fun fact about yourself. I hate, I'm not good at these because like, <sighs> it is a good practice to try and think about positive things about yourself, especially as someone with depression and anxiety and a whole bunch of other shit. Like it's really good to think positive. Well, I guess some people might know it, some people won't, but I am a really good singer. Like I, I've mentioned it on previous videos. Um, I posted once on Instagram and I do, I, I would like to approach the idea of posting me singing videos more, um, but it's very nerve wracking for me as someone who is like, it, there's a lot of mental health issues related to singing and wanting to sing. So I have to work at that. Uh, I have sung, I did Twitch sings with Chris on his stream once. Um, it was very nerve wracking and I do want to do it again, but like the idea of doing it again scares me. So the fun fact is that I can sing and I know that I can sing. I just get stressed about it, which if y'all want the story of that one, you're going to have to ask because that one is, that one hurts my heart. <laughs> like there's one, you know, I do want to go back to therapy because I love therapy. Um, and it has helped with other aspects of my life and my relationships with my family. And I should go back and discuss the singing thing. You know, when you have like a basket of laundry that you have cleaned and you gotta fold it and you think that's too much, well, I'm almost at the bottom and like, it's really not a lot. So good job, laziness. You fucked up. I think there's one, ow. There's a couple more. Uh, okay, so this one is more of an assumption. Uh, you are super cute and amazing. Well, first of all, so were you. It's always interesting to find the assumptions of others of, and how they perceive you. Uh, I think a lot of times we think about what other think people, like a lot of times we think about what other people are thinking about us, but we don't really know, do we? Like we can't, unless you're a mind reader, which in which case, we, Good for you, I guess. But we don't really know. Like we assume that someone is looking at you when really they're like zoning out on the bus or like thinking about other things, which is something I have to remind myself. Like if I go to the store and I feel anxious about it, I have to remember like in the grand scheme of things, I am not important to someone else's world. <laughs> like I might just be a moment in passing. Um, of just like, oh, there's a human being right in front of me, like, whatever, like, you know, I don't think that we are the focus of people's lives as much as we think we are, which is interesting to think about. So thank you. First, you know, thank you for that compliment. 
I think that that positive energy should be spread around to everyone. So everyone who's watching, you are cute and amazing. I was worried I wouldn't have much to talk about in this, but here we are. <laughs> also, I'm wearing my Alright Aphrodite shirt. Web series plug. The final item is not my hair in my face, is my washcloth. It's empty. Ta-da. Now I can go clean up the mess that's over there and not feel judged by my own boyfriend. <laughs> uh, there is one more thing. Anthony Alexander. I threw an X in their name, I'm sorry. Um, you have asked another question, which is, when are we going to collab? Let's both make slime. Well, boo boo, I will collab any moment you want. I, again, only do one video a week, so hit me up. Um, yeah, also go follow him on, on there. Go follow, do it. Also follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm actually social media wise, I'm on Instagram all the time and then I'm on Twitter like second. And then Tumblr I go on if like people acknowledge me, which usually they don't. So I accidentally went on my work Twitter. So give me a second. So that's all I got. Actually go put away these clothes. Also, we're gonna ignore the cups in the background because listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. I am. One of them has snacks in it. So I'm not like drinking. No, you're gonna see the light in the background. I don't care. But if you enjoy this video, be sure to let me know. If you are interested in more of me answering questions, ask me questions. If you want more lifestyle stuff, let me know. I can do lifestyle stuff of just everyday things that I do, which generally I'm pretty boring. <laughs> we'll go here. Here's, here's a good space because I'm not falling and leaning. And if you're looking for another video to watch, be sure to go wherever I put it up here, the card, the video. I will learn directions and the opposites. This is like when I learned to drive and no one told me how to turn the wheel when you're reversing. This is the storyteller of the week. Thank you so much. I love you all. You all are delightful human beings. I hope that you have a fantastic day and keep on shining storytellers.